Hello Internet, I'm your only mate and it's time for another episode of Red vs Blue. This is Season 14, Episode 19. As I should say with all my reaction videos, please click the link in the description below or click here to go to the actual episode itself. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff, then come back to watch this video. Okay. Good. Support the official release. Okay, so this episode is titled... Mr. Red versus Mr. Blue. I have no idea what to expect this episode. I saw a brief clip on Twitter. I didn't actually listen to it or really read the text this time. I just briefly saw, like, Griff and someone I can't remember who exactly. And then Sister walks into frame. So I'm kind of hoping that means that she'll be in this episode. Uh, she was one of my favorite characters in Season 5. I just thought it was hilarious. So, he's hoping maybe she'll be back. How about I shut up and hit play now? Now, there was an indiscriminate amount of time between Tex and Junior disappearing from Blood Gulch and then the gang getting split up and reassigned by Project Freelancer. You all remember hmm. that. Yep. It was a strange time. A time when the Reds and Blues had become familiar with one another, but were technically hmm. still at war, but were simultaneously no longer really giving a damn, but were also <laughs> not really fond of one another. Like that sounds about right. Strange time. And strange things happen when you're stuck in a canyon with your worst friends slash enemies slash robot companions slash siblings. Hmm. Man, what a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Everyone's weird in our own way, Vic. That's what makes them unique. Tight. Hey, the fuck are you doing to our base, Blue? <laughs> oh, hey guys. I was just putting up some flyers for my thing tonight. I'm hosting a movie, movie night. We figured it out. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm keeping the film a secret, but I can give you guys some hints. It's a kick-ass crime caper made by the most badass filmmaker of all time. Come on, Tucker. We know it's Reservoir Dogs. It's always Reservoir Dogs. I'm so mm. sick of that movie. You can't get sick of Reservoir Dogs. It's impossible. It's the perfect movie. Kick-ass dialogue, kick-ass characters, kick-ass ass-kicking. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds great, Tucker, but we actually have plans tonight for once. Yeah, Sarge says he's gonna really? make Griff finish that squat he started in basic. On second thought, <laughs> we'll be there. Of course. Alright, everyone, remember, we're calling Sanctuary, so no fighting. Well, I thought you could only call Sanctuary in a church. Yeah, huh? What do you want? This is a church, <laughs> a cinema, so grab some popcorn and shut up. Ooh, we have popcorn? Oh, no, not really. Aww. Uh... Gentlemen, I've had your curiosity. Now I'd like your attention. Yo, vamanos. <laughs> a little background on our film tonight. Before Quentin Tarantino okay. went on to dazzle audiences with Kill Bill and Glorious Bastards and Pulp Fiction, he made his first mark on the cinematic world with this stunning debut film. A little movie I like to call Reservoir Dogs. Hey, Tucker, I was just thinking I got an idea here. What if we watched literally anything else? Why would you want to watch anything else? Uh, firstly, because this movie is older than Sarge. Yeah, and the old things are totally gross. Hey, I'm not that old, you sock goggling whippersnapper! Get off my lawn! Ah, uh, I didn't know there was a lot here, sorry. Don't you guys get it? It's still the only movie we have in this godforsaken canyon. He's got us by the balls! Great point. So, unless someone's hiding next to good point, actually, yeah. Lopez just left. You'll have to settle for watching the greatest film of all time again. Caboose, the tape. All right, get up. Oh, I, I don't think that's going to work, Caboose. Why don't um, we just take the tape out and play it in the VCR? I vote we try it. This could definitely work. Second it. Okay, did that I? No, Caboose, wait! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, it broke. That is weird. I don't know how it, that would happen. Uh, so since that thing is on fire, should I still get the light? <laughs> Yo, Reds! Anybody here? No. We packed up and left. Cut the crap. We gotta talk about Tucker. Tucker? Okay. Don't tell me he's still upset about movie night. He's done nothing but sit in his room and listen to Stuck in the Middle with you on repeat. Could be worse. He's hmm. been doing it for almost six days. That's like two weeks of Tucker time. Oh. Yeah, so listen. Huh. I feel okay, somewhat then. responsible for what happened, and I would like to try to make it up to him if I can. Also, I gotta admit... I'm about two songs away from just I'm really curious as to how you're going to make up to him. What? Out of the goodness of our hearts? Or boredom? What else are you going to do? We're in. Hold on there, Good point, actually. We're not agreeing to anything. Just because we may lay down our arms for a weekly movie night doesn't mean we're going to... You can play the lead. I'll get you my headshots. 
of all reasons all right, now, for Serge to get we involved. Remake, we're all going to be playing characters from the movie Reservoir Dogs. I figure we can make just like a sizzle reel trailer kind of a thing, and just let Tucker direct the rest. Otherwise, we're all just going to have to listen to him bitch about how we did it wrong. Here are your, char <coughs> here are your characters. Yeah, that's a good plan, actually. Here are your characters. Mr. Brown, Mr. Blonde, Mr. Blue, Mr. Orange, Mr. Black, <laughs> Mr. Pink, and I'm Mr. White. Wait, why am I Mr. Pink? Are you seriously asking that question? <laughs> it's lightish red. I've told you that a thousand is. times. Who cares what character you play? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Mr. White. You have a cool sounding name. Why can't we pick our characters? El Señor Maron Sueva Como. Mr. Brown sounds like Mr. Uh, shit. Have you any idea be able to understand? If we pick our yeah, why would you kill so if you don't understand him? Mr. Black. Thank God Tex is in here. Hey! How would you like to be Mr. Has a fucking hole in his head? And I'm not talking about your mouth. I'm like I'm talking about like another hole in your head. A new hole. I'm gonna shoot you. You, you understand. I'd like to see you try, considering you can't aim that thing. Mr. Pink sounds like a pansy. Tell you what. How about I be Mr. Purple? That sounds good to me. You're not Mr. Enter Purple. There we go. Mr. Purple in the movie. Aww. We could change. Aww, the movie. so mean. I never liked how everyone dies at the end anyway. Oh come on! Spoiler alert! Somebody. How is that a spoiler? We've watched that movie together 10,000 times. Usually after the gunfire, <laughs> I fall right to sleep. Hey, Terry Terrible, why the <laughs> fuck am I not Mr. Blonde? Uh, because you're a girl, and also, you're not blonde. Not on my head. That doesn't e- Wait, what? Sister, <laughs> there's no girls in Reservoir Dogs. Go back to base. Uh, what about the all-female remake they made? You know, the terrible one? Reservoir Bitches? It was terrible. Fine! Enjoy being sexist! I'll go make my own movie, and I'll only have girls. Then, we'll see who's sexist. And where are you going to get girls to help you make an impromptu movie? I've done it before. They didn't even care about the nudity. Because women are professionals! Please do not tell anyone else the things you just said. I hate you! You're just like mom and dad! I'm just going to leave that alone. Ugh, I am shot. Hey, you cut that shit right now. You're hurt. You're hurt real fucking bad, but you ain't dying. Okay, trust me, I know what that feels like. Ah! Uh -huh. That heist, it went so bad. And now, I have been shot. I am going to die. I know. No. That heist went bad, but you're not gonna die. I'm, uh, fine. I'm going to get you help. Right. I'm gonna get you help. <laughs> no, don't you hurt black on me. You hold on. Grab the face of the brain of Quentin Tower. Tower. Right enough. In a movie where some people who like wearing the same clothes and have colors for their name <laughs> decide to have a robbery heist and also secretly, spoiler alert, one of them is a cop. I think one of us is secretly a cop. There is violence. It guns. It's shooting at stuff. <laughs> bang. Pew, pew. Bang. 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 Oh no. According to the script, I've been shot. Who the fuck is <laughs> giving actual gasoline? I'm a method actor. Vagina power. Down with the man. Suck my lady dick. Especially if all you do is stand around and talk. Seriously though, who would, in their right mind, watch something that is about these guys in the middle of a canyon just standing around and talking? I have the answer. Me. Because it's hilarious. I'm, I'm not sure if I really have any words for that... for that trailer they put together. <laughs> It's just, I mean, it probably could have gone a lot worse. That's all I can say. I still love like Griff's line. Oh no! According to the script, I've been shot. <laughs> and I feel kind of bad for Doc that they were just like, "There's no Mr. Purple. He's just walking towards him." And he's like, "Oh, ah, poor Doc." An, a an AI possesses him. He goes crazy. They don't want him around. He gets kidnapped by a couple of super soldiers. He gets left behind. He goes missing for like a whole season. Turns out he didn't give a shit. And he's crazy again. 
I mean, I even have some movies like that where I just, I may watch them more than once, but I do think if they were the only thing I could watch, like, forever, I think, yeah, I would get sick of them really, really quick. <laughs> Alright, so we should only have, like, maybe one or two episodes left? Maybe three is a bit of a stretch? And like I keep saying, still hoping for at least one Freelancer episode. And I even tweeted this to Miles because I really want to see this to go back to, back into Caboose's mind. I I would love to see like, his interpretation of the meta, Felix, Locus, Carolina, just everyone from the Coros trilogy. I think it could be absolutely hilarious, especially meta. I really just want to see see the caboose version of the meta. If it's done right, it could be the most spectacular thing ever. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and show subscribe if you want, and I'll see you later. Bye.